I've been feeling the need to make some healthy food in between some of the Christmas goodies that we've been eating around our house. So today I'm going to show you four different meals you can make for just over $10 that will be low carb, heavy on veggies, and higher in protein than your average extreme grocery budget meal plan. For our protein, I got a pound of sausage, six eggs, a can of diced tomatoes, a head of cabbage, which is going to be the bulk of our meal plan, a bag of carrots, one white onion, and an avocado. I also used a few freebies, some soy sauce, a little bit of oil, some sesame seed oil, cumin, some smoked paprika, some chili powder, garlic powder, and parsley flakes. I did try to keep the extras low as far as oil and butter goes, so the main thing I used was spices. I started off by prepping for all of the meals. Mainly, I shredded most of the carrots, and then I also cut them into matchsticks, about two of those carrots. And I did do some sliced carrots too. I wanted to give a couple of different options, although you could do all of the remaining two or three carrots as matchsticks. All of the recipes will be below. I went ahead and diced up the onion as well, leaving a few slices in rings because I like the look of them on top of some of the dishes. I then started cutting up my cabbage. I cut up the entire cabbage. I took off several of the leaves, about eight of them, before I went ahead and started slicing things up. You can see these bowls. These will be nice little bowls and help with cleanup and also just be a cute way of holding the food. I went ahead and sliced up thinly about half of the cabbage and the other half I went ahead and cut into small pieces. All of this prep work before starting to cook is really going to save us time and allow us to throw the meals together really easily. I had other ideas for how to use the avocado, but I ended up using it mainly for garnish because it ended up being riper than I thought it would be. This first dish I decided to make was inspired by Almost Empty Nesters, a commenter on one of my previous videos. She talked about some stuffed cabbage leaves that her grandmother used to make. Now these won't have rice in them, but they will have egg that will help hold it together and the sausage as well as carrots and a bunch of different spices. Now I'll have all the recipes typed down below so you'll be able to reference them and make them for yourselves if you're interested in making this meal plan. Thank you to Almost Empty Nesters for the inspiration for this recipe. I went ahead and added in my spices into the filling. This is what we're going to be stuffing our cabbage leaves with. Now, if you're afraid that your cabbage leaves are a little brittle, you could blanch them really quickly by sticking them in boiling hot water for about two or three seconds and just letting them soften up a little bit. I didn't feel like they were going to fall apart too much because my cabbage had been in my fridge a little bit, so I felt like it was a little floppier than it should be. So I went ahead and just added in about a fourth of a cup of the filling into each of the leaves and then just wrapped it around. You could remove some of the stem and that would allow it to wrap a little easier, but I'm fine with having the stem on. I feel like it's extra nutrition and on a tight budget, it's always good to have a little extra nutrition. So I went ahead and made three large cabbage leaves that I rolled up. I added them to my pan and then went ahead and put in our tomatoes as well. I just put them on top. I wanted them to be able to steam and really melt into out the whole dish. I wanted to make sure that everything was really well seasoned as well, so I added in more of the seasoning on top of the tomatoes so that as they cook and reduce a little bit, the tomatoes would be really well flavored and flavor the outside of the dish as well as soak into the middle of the dish. If you are on a really tight budget, cabbage is a really excellent way to go because you get a lot of bulk into your meals without having to worry about padding them with a lot of higher carb foods that might be a little less nutritionally dense like rice or flour. After my stuffed cabbage leaves or holishkas, I believe they are called in Jewish culture, had steamed for a little bit, I went ahead and took them out of the pan. They were nice and soft and tender and went ahead and plated them up. These were quite filling because of all the protein added from the egg and the sausage as well as the bulk the cabbage added to them and very flavorful thanks to the spices. 
even if you do not have all the spices that I showed in this video, you would still be able to make a lot of these meals be very flavorful because we use sausage in the meals. It won't taste quite the same as the recipes that I've written below, but they would still taste very good and be very flavorful and very nutritious as well. I next decided to make a taco bowl. As you can see, we used our cabbage leaves kind of as a lettuce wrap or lettuce leaf bowl, except for we're using cabbage, of course. And I went ahead and sauteed my onions and my sausage into the pan before adding some of our other ingredients, which included a good healthy portion of those chopped tomatoes, some taco seasoning, which I forgot to mention earlier as an additional ingredient that I use, some cumin. I love adding cumin to anything that is taco flavored because I feel like it really bumps up the flavor and adds just a little extra spice to the dish. I went ahead and stirred everything together and just let all those flavors melt together. I then went ahead and spooned it into our waiting taco bowls that we had, that we made out of our cabbage leaves. I added a little bit of sliced avocado on top just to add a creamy flavor and a little bit of these fresh shredded carrots. If you have some sour cream on hand, that would also go really well with this. Next up is egg roll in a bowl, which I've seen a lot of different people make this dish. I feel like it's really key to have the toasted sesame seed oil. It just adds so much flavor and just brings an extra umami flavor to the whole dish. I went ahead and sauteed my sausage and onions and then added in a bunch of my cabbage into the pan. As you can see, it looks like the pan might overflow, but cabbage is one of those tricky vegetables that when it's cooked, it just kind of melts into a smaller amount and it fits in a pan perfectly when you thought it might overflow instead. I then added in my soy sauce as well as a healthy handful of my shredded carrots. I love the touch of sweetness that the carrots add to this dish because they're shredded so finely you get a little bit in every bite and I feel like it just adds that touch of sweetness that I've come to know and love in a lot of um, I guess Americanized Asian foods. I added salt to taste and then I went ahead and spooned the mixture after it had sauteed and gotten all nice and soft into my waiting cabbage rolls and then I went ahead and fried up two eggs to put on top. I really tried to make sure there was a good amount of protein in all of these meals. I know that beans can be a great source of protein, but as I'm not a huge fan of beans personally, just a personal preference, I went ahead and tried to find other sources of protein that might be cheaper or uh, somewhat budget friendly while also having a decent protein pack. I know eggs have gone up in price, way up in price, but I have found that you can still find them at Dollar Tree for six for a dollar twenty-five. So I'm hoping that this will still fall into the range of being affordable for as many people as possible. And here's our finished egg roll in a bowl. I just finished it off with a garnish of the sliced avocado. Next, we're making shakshuka. This is a North African Middle Eastern dish that's typically eaten for breakfast, but we are going to be eating it more so for a lunch or a dinner meal. I went ahead and started sauteing in my sausage and my onions and added in all of the carrots. Now you definitely could make just sliced carrots or only matchstick carrots if you wanted to, but I wanted the variety of shapes, so I did both just because I'm a little extra sometimes. <laughs> I then added in the remaining cabbage that I had and let that kind of saute down. This one is the cubed cabbage. The bulk of this one meal was more like two meals by the time all was said and done. So this whole meal plan that I've showed you so far would end up making five meals most likely. Each of the other meals I've showed before this were only one person serving of a meal, but this one I did have to cut into two different servings just because it made a lot of food. I added in my spices. I used a little bit of cumin, a little bit of garlic powder. I really love using garlic powder in recipes, so you'll see I doused this with it. I also used some smoked paprika. I love the color that this adds to the dish. I also added a little bit of water to this dish because we want it to steam and soften up that cabbage really well without burning the bottom. Before covering this up to allow it to steam, I did add salt and pepper to the top 
just to make sure it's well seasoned and then I let it steam. I then took the lid off and cracked my three remaining eggs on top. This is going to steam well. Don't worry about the eggs not cooking because we're going to put the lid back on and they will thoroughly steam and turn out really nicely. Now, I believe a traditional shakshuka would have a little more of a tomato sauce than what this dish has, but I was just using the remaining tomatoes that I had, so this is what we came up with. I went ahead and added on those sliced onion rings on top just for pretty and a little bit of uh, visual flavor, I would say. I am a firm believer in the idea that you eat with your eyes first. So I try to make sure that my food, no matter the price, is visually appealing and looks beautiful as well as tastes really delicious. I next went ahead and covered this dish and allowed it to steam. The eggs are steamed perfectly and I went ahead and plated this up. You can see we've got the eggs are thoroughly cooked, the onions are adding that nice visual flair, and then I garnished it with a little bit of that sliced avocado. I liked having a little bit of the fresh avocado on the side of each of these meals. It was definitely a good amount of food. As you can see, we have a whole nother portion in that dish, and I added a little bit of parsley as well on top just for that extra visual flair. You'll see the inside of the egg is still a little bit soft, but well cooked and cooked all the way through. If you've made it this far in the video, how do you like your eggs or do you not really care for eggs? Comment below, let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope this has given you some healthy meal inspiration during this season and I will see you all in the next one.